Hello. So this is my take on the vanilla hypercube made by Tech2C. I have a standard, I guess, Chineseium power supply, 12 volts, an MKS Gen 1.4, MOSFET for the heat bed. Um, under this case, I have TMCs. 2208 running in uh, URT mode um, a Raspberry Pi hosting Octoprint which doesn't work really well with um, with the uh, TMCs uh, in the UART mode I guess it's too much for the little 8-bit Arduino Mega CPU I made a cam mount for it and a full graphic, graphic controller, a spool holder which needs to be replaced because it swivels too much when it when the filament is being dragged. And here is the piece that I'm the most proud of, which are the parking extruders. Uh, so the concept is quite simple, the printer can come close to the, uh, to the, I don't know, print head or hot end, take it off the hook and drag it to the print area. I have a little Kapton tape um, wipe which doesn't work too well, but I didn't have a better idea at the moment. Um, in theory, it would be possible to print in multiple materials, but um, I don't quite have it mastered yet. Uh, changing of the print heads during the print, especially with the Strini PTG, uh, makes, makes it difficult. Um, but in fear it should be possible, maybe with PLA it would work better. Yeah, the, I built it because I wanted to have the possibility to easily change before, between a, a 0.6 nozzle and an 0.4 nozzle. Um, so yeah, it works perfectly, it just chooses the uh, the hot end it needs for the print before the print starts and and that's it. I made some uh, zip tie holes in the in the parts so cables are uh, firm. All of this is built with uh, parts bought on AliExpress. Um, I don't have the original E3Ds. And the um, the mounting mechanism is the neodymium magnets solely. The screws over here uh, are used to center the the hot end on the carriage. Works quite well. The print head itself has a has holes for those screws, so it get quite nicely centered. Maybe not now. There we go. Um, yeah, I remade the Bistruder um, arm to fit my needs on the 20 by 20 extrusion, aluminum extrusion. Um, and yeah, on the other extruder, I have a Titan clone <coughs> from a Tivo Tarantula I, I had before. Um, did I say everything, did I told you everything about this printer? Oh yeah, a very important thing is I had to increase the area within the, within the printer itself. So I moved the Z-axis rods outside, which works quite well because the, um, how do you call it? How do you say it? 
the bed doesn't lean so much, I guess because it leans on the extrusion over here. And a very important thing was this anti-backlash nut. I couldn't quite get a hold of why my prints are getting so ugly, but that nut fixed really a, quite a lot. The Y end stop is a very simple part. Yeah, it has a layer mount, um, layer mount, <coughs> layer fan, which probably could be done better, but it was outside of my skills to do it better. I hope someone will remix this layer fan and make something better. Uh, same goes for the for those evil captain tape wipers. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope someone will like it. Thank you.